Evergreen, once part of a vast wilderness that belonged to the Ute and Arapaho. That wilderness gave way to prospectors, lumberjacks, and settlers. One of them, a wealthy Civil War widow named Mary. Mary Neosha Williams, my great-great-grandmother. She and her daughter Josepha quickly fell in love with Evergreen and the chance to connect with nature. Josepha found more than quiet beauty here. She also found love. Charles Douglas, my great-grandfather, a man of music and a man of faith, known the world over for his Episcopalian hymns. Kenan Douglas actually was very heavily involved in the music in the church, and a lot of that music is still used in the Episcopal Church today. After marrying, they converted an old hay barn into a simple cottage in the woods, a cottage that just kept getting bigger. Today, it's known as the Haiwan Homestead. It was all done with the help of a newly arrived immigrant from Scotland, a talented carpenter named Jock Spence. He made this place fit. You look at it from the outside and it, it just fits here and the entire house is built out of native woods. It's the Adirondack kind of style, uh, which was popular um, during that time, uh, using a lot of natural materials and materials that were native to the area. In New York, in, up in that area, it's, it's a popular style. The dining room were one place where they built the house around a tree. And so that carried down through the rest of the generations in the family, that, that love of nature and the respect for nature. This wonderful homestead saw six generations of families come and go before finally Jefferson County Open Space turned it into a museum. Today, school groups from all over come to hear the Haiwan story. The kids come here as part of their Colorado history studies. This looks 3D. They get to sort through an old trunk of antiques. They listen to the sweet sounds of a music box. There we are. That's so cute. And they're often drawn to an old photograph of a young man in hiking boots and a hat who seems very much at peace with the world. That man is my grandfather and his legacy lives on in this house in just about every single room.